What's up, players and perpetrators? So I'm going to show you how to make a really good long loop station for free in Logic 10 or any DAW of your choice. This concept will work in Pro Tools for the proper people, you know, Ableton, Reason, uh, <laughs> Fruity Loops. It'll work. Um, I'll just brush past how to make a short loop station um, and then we'll get into the, the meaty stuff. So for a short loop station, just get yourself a delay plugin. Um, um, set the dry, ooh, set the dry, that's delay, set the dry to 100% so that you can hear yourself while you're doing it, set the wet to 100% so you hear it back as loud as it was when you first did it, uh, make sure feedback is happening and set that also to 100% which often is displayed as zero decibels. Um, if it's any lower, the loop will slowly start to disappear and fade away. If it's any higher, it's going to just get louder and louder and you'll need a fire extinguisher. Um, yeah, good luck with that. Um, do be careful while you're messing with this, this occult. Um, and yeah, basically you'll have, uh, what's this set to? A bar? Is there even a, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, that was something, but you get the idea. Now, the problem is all the delay plugins, I, I looked through quite a few of them. And they all seem to go as high as 10,000 milliseconds and no 10, higher. 10,000. <laughs> uh, in terms of how long they can they can wait before playing your stuff back to you. They're eager. Um, so 10 milliseconds is 10 seconds. So if you've got, for example, a four bar loop at 87 BPM, uh, that's what we'll be working with, it's not quite long enough. So after like three and a half bars, it would kick back in at the start again with whatever you looped. Now that obviously doesn't work for a loop station. Um, so this is where the magic comes in. So what you do is you get your channel that you want to loop up, which in my case is this stylish old SM58 here, and you send it to an auxiliary channel or a bus. Um, and you want to send it to the amount of zero decibels. So it's coming into the other channel as much as it's playing back from the original channel. And it's in this bus or auxiliary channel that you get a delay on the go. Uh, I'm going to be using Logic's delay designer, uh, but you honestly use anything. So with this, I'm going to set my feedback to absolutely nothing. I only want it to come back one time. So I'll hear it once from my original channel and then once from my delay channel. Uh, I want dry all the way down because I want to keep those things I just mentioned and wet all the way up to the top so that I hear that exactly as much as I heard it the first time that I performed it. Um, I'm going to set this one to two bars. Uh, I'll just put the feedback back to zero. <laughs> I went wrong with that last time. Um, two bars being the longest that I can get away with mathematically within this format because um, it goes as high as 10,000 uh, and two bars is over 5,000. So, you know, I'd have rhythmical problems if I went any higher. Uh, now, that isn't as long as I want. I want four bars. So what I do is currently after two bars, the sound will come back if I, you know, un unmute my delay channel. Uh, so I'm going to just repeat that back again. So I've got another of those same delays in this same aux channel. And that means after four bars, I'll hear something back. Now, let's just try that. So go. OK, this is bar one. And then this is bar two. We'll hear all this again soon. This is bar three. And so coming up in a second. So go. OK, this is bar one. Right. So that worked. Now, that only is going to play back one time. So if you want to do a quick four bar loop, play one thing, hear it once, then you're a winner. But if you want a functional loop station, you need Magic 2.0, which is you get your auxiliary channel and you uh, you send aux1 into aux2. Again, set the send level up to 0 dB so it's coming through as loud in bus 2 as it was when it came out of bus 1. Then in bus 2, you simply copy and paste or however you want to duplicate, get those same delays again and then route bus 2 into bus 3, copy again and I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, you know, bus 3 goes into bus 4, bus 5 goes into bus 12, bus 12 goes into bus 36 and you're away. Although if you start skipping around with numbers like that, you might get confused. <laughs> I, I know I would. So 
my computer's not that new anymore, right? It's like six years old or something. Um, but it can comfortably run about 30 of these these channels, uh, which at this tempo, uh, with this four bar loop, would give me about five minutes of looping, which is plenty. But if you've got a half decent computer, you'll be able to run hundreds of these. Admittedly, it might look a bit messy when you've just got this after this after this, just like running on for miles, but it's completely functional and it's completely free. So you've saved yourself, you know, 100, 200 on a loop pedal. Um, should work live as well, but all I'll say is if you're going to play with it live, then stress test it at home first because, um, you know, your computer could start dying in the middle of a gig and, uh, you know, all you've got is some crackpot on YouTube to blame. So that's it, basically. Uh, I'll do a quick demo to show that this works. I've got a bit of latency now, so it might sound a bit wonky. Uh, if I've gone wrong in any way, or if you think there's anything that I could that I've missed, or if there's anything unclear, uh, which there <laughs> may well be, let me know in a little comment. Uh, if you've made it this far, I'm honoured. Thank you. Um, and hopefully, some people can get some fun out of this. Thanks. Enjoy. <laughs> So that's how it works. Enjoy.